Do you want to do levitation, unique artistic installations, and other applications with ultrasonic face arrays? In Ubna Lab, we will show you how to build your own array for less than $200. Check that your PCB was manufactured without shortcuts in the 5 volts rail or in the 18 volts rail. Clean the stencil with isopropyl alcohol. Put other boards at the sides and tape them. Put the stencil on top and align it so that only metal paths are seen. Tape the stencil to the PCB. Apply solder paste and spread it with single move using a razor or a card. Check some tutorials on SMD if you've never done it before. Lift the stencil with a pill in motion. And don't forget to clean it. This is how the paste should look on the PCB. Now it's time for the pick and place. Start by placing the MOSFET drivers, careful with their orientation. Then we place the shift registers, again, pay attention to the orientation. And we finish with the ceramic capacitors, for them orientation doesn't matter. Don't panic, this process will take you less than 2 hours. Bake your PCB using the profile indicated by your paste. A properly baked board looks like this. Check that there are no shortcuts on the power rails. If you have a shortcut, you can check some videos on how to solve them. connectors to the correct length. You can use the FPGA to keep the connectors spaced properly. But you don't need to fully connect the FPGA. Solder the FPGA connectors. Solder the power rail connectors. The ports and the DC barrel. We are going to upload the FPGA program. Connect the power, the JTAG and open the programmer. Select the neutral JIG provided file Check Program Configure, select your programmer and click Start. When it finishes, you can switch off and on your FPGA. L4 should be blinking. Connect the FPGA, paying attention to its orientation. You can check for shortcuts again. Provide 5 volts into the 5 volts rail and around 9 volts in the 18 volts rail. Get ground for your scope and check that each channel is generating a 40 kHz 9 volts peak to peak signal. If the signal is 3.3 volts peak to peak, there is a problem with the driver. If there is no signal, the problem can be with the driver or with the shifters. We put a laser cut spacer so that the transducer sit flat, but this one is not completely necessary. Put all the transducers. You can mark the polarity now or calibrate later. It is okay if a few channels are broken. Carefully flip the board using a rigid plank, like an omelette. Now you can solder the transducers. Check for shortcuts. 
put 5 volts into the 5 volt rails and 9 volts into the 18 volts rail. Check with a spare transducer connected to the scope that all the transducers are emitting. We will use the Arduino as a cheap USB to serial converter. Provide power. To levitate with a single ball, connect the ground, serial and 5 volt from the Arduino to a primary board. Download and open the Ultraino program. Load the empty board simulation. In the Devices tab, select Chain FPA protocol. Click Connect and select the Arduino port. Now press A to select all the transducers. Press S to switch them off or W to switch them on. You should hear a clicking noise and see a change in the current consumption. This step is not necessary if you mark the polarity of the transducers and solder them accordingly. You will need a two-channel oscilloscope. Connect one probe to port D of the board and ground to get the reference signal from the board. Make this channel the trigger. Connect the other probe to a spare transducer. With Ultraino running and connected to the board, select the first transducer and switch it on. Put the probe on top of it and you should be able to see the reference signal and the receive ultrasonic wave. You will need to adjust the phase, peaks to peaks, using the keys H, J or K. When adjusted, press M to go to the next transducer. Calibrate all of the transducers. You can assign the calibration to the simulation file or export it to other programs. Apply your calibration only in the FPA or in the simulation, but not in both. You can compile your new code. It will take a long time. You can convert your code to JTAG format. Select JIC EPSC 16 Cyclone 4 E EP4 C6 Select the previously generated soft file. Click Generate and use the programmer to upload the generated file. Put the board above a surface with a separation of 16 cm. Add the slice at 16 cm. Click on the slice and now you can focus any place that you click. You can levitate particles at that point. For multiple points you need to select a complex algorithm. You can use the tap move to control all the particles or individual ones. You can use a primary and a secondary board together to levitate in 3D. Use the supports provided and connect the boards as shown in the schematic. Load the simulation file called to erase. Connect and test that you can switch on and off the top board and the bottom board individually. Add 4 points and create traps there. You can use a ruler to place the particles at the right height. The points can be moved in 3D. 
Thank you for watching and keep posted for more content.